um, so we have um, uh, another uh, trauma wife um, uh, station. We have Biget um, being the candidate. Biget, are you ready? Yes, ready, Ahmed. Um, so this is um, a 25-year-old lady presenting to your um, fracture clinic. Um, she's a ballet dancer, sort of a semi-professional ballet dancer. Um, she uh, wasn't a training on her normal weekly training and fell and landed awkwardly. She went to a minor injuries unit and has been examined, had some x-rays done, and then put in a backstab uh, to come later to the fracture clinic. So this is the x-ray you have. Um, can you comment on the, uh, on the x-rays and tell me what are your thoughts? Well, this is a plain radiograph and to posterior view and oblique views of the foot of a skeletally mature individual. Um, uh, I can see there is a soft tissue shadow and swelling. Um, I can also see on the AP view, there is widening of the uh, space between the first and the second uh, metatarsals. Um, and I can see what could be uh, a flex sign. I'm not really sure. Um, also, the medial border of the second metatarsal is not aligning with the uh, middle cuneiform. I have a in, um, um, suspicion about a less frank injury. I would like to examine the foot uh, for swelling. Um, um, I would like to exclude compartment syndrome. I would assess the neurovascular status, and I would also examine the uh, plantar aspect of the foot for bruising, uh, which is very typical of less frank injuries. Okay, so she, uh, as you as you said very rightly, she's uh, she's standing over the Liz Frank area. She's standing around the uh, the first and second TMT joints, and she's got uh, significant uh, plantar uh, bruising. Uh, so, what do you want to do next? So, although on the X-rays, uh, those those signs are very uh, suspicious of Liz Frank injury, and although on the X-rays, uh, it's not very evident. It could be subtle. Um, I would like to obtain a CT scan uh, while she's still in the, in the uh, emergency department um, uh, with special focus on the axial cuts uh, because I'm aware that this frank injuries could be uh, partially or even purely ligamentous uh, with very subtle x-ray findings uh, but would uh, uh, be unmasked by a CT scan. Okay, so she's had a CT scan and um, she, she came like two or three days later in the fracture clinic with the CT scan. The CT scan showed, as um, you suspected, a list rank injury. Uh, for the sake of the argument, let's just talk about uh, a ligamentous type of list rank um, uh, injury first. We don't unfortunately have the CT uh, cuts. But uh, the patient is very concerned. She had some reads about it because you told her about the Liz Frank uh, injury. She had uh, read about it. She's very concerned. She wants to pursue her career in ballet. She's, um, she asked for your advice, what to expect. How would you address such a concerned uh, slash anxious uh, patient? So um, I need to explain to her very uh, clearly. First, assuming that she's neurovascular intact and compartment syndrome has been excluded. Uh, and the limb is in a good condition, I would explain to her that test frank injuries, in particular when it's ligamentous, could be a life-changing uh, type of injury. Uh, I need to set her expectations right. Uh, sometimes patients could end up having residual, considerable residual amount of pain. Um, and for her, she's a ballet dancer. She might not be able to uh, get back to the same uh, uh, level of performance as she, uh, she did before uh, her injury. Um, um, I would also explain to her that this frank injuries most probably need to be treated using an operation, uh, uh, by an operation. Uh, there's a lot of controversy, um, uh, uh, especially when it comes to ligamentous stress frank injuries, whether to, uh, to do primary fixation or primary fusion. Uh, uh, some advocate primary fusion in, in ligamentous type of injuries. Um, however, there is still a, a trend to fix those injuries. Um, so she agreed to surgery. Um, uh, you are the operating uh, surgeon and you consented her and she agreed to the risks and everything. Um, provided it's a ligamentous um, this frank injury, can you talk me through what will you be preferred method of uh, reduction and what's your preferred method of fixation for such injuries? So I'm aware that there's a lot of controversies around this area. Uh, some people advocate the use of screws only uh, to fix. And, uh, basically the home run screw, which fixes the second metatarsal base to the uh, uh, medial cuneiform in the place of the less frank ligament, which is torn in these cases. Um, however, both are uh, um, criticized because, uh, because they cross the joint surfaces and need to be removed later on with another procedure. 
So uh, there is a, a, a growing trend uh, among foot and ankle surgeons to, to go for fixation using bridging plates, uh, 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 which do not warrant uh, a later on removal. I would offer her uh, open reduction and fixation using bridging plates. Uh, I would do this under a uh, spinal or general anesthetic with the help of an image intensifier. In, uh, in, uh, under tourniquet control, I would use two incisions uh, over the dorsum of the foot, one between the first and second metatarsals, uh, through which I can access the first tray and fix the first TNT joint and the second tarsal metatarsal joint. And then, if required, I would examine an EUA uh, the lateral column for the third and fourth uh, rays, uh, uh, if I need, uh, I would fix them. Some surgeons even go for k fixation of the lateral column since it's the more mobile uh, column of the foot, and those can be easily removed later on in clinic. I would keep her non with bearing for the first six weeks, and uh, um, I will give her anticoagulation in the post operative period to cover her. Uh, uh, and then reassess her in clinic and start partial with bearing. So you've, you've done that and you've fixed her. What is uh... Perfect. Are you aware of... Oh, time's up. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Bigad, you've done? I think um, it went okay. It's, um, it's, um, it's a very commonly met injury, uh, a lot to discuss with the patient. Uh, there are controversies. I think I tried to address them as best as mm -hmm. my knowledge is. Um, I forgot to obtain a lateral uh, uh, view, which is very important, uh, to look for a dorsal dislocation of the uh, metatarsals. Uh, and in that case, it could be an emergency to reduce it. Uh, and if this dorsal dislocation is not there, uh, uh, then the timing for surgery is different. You usually wait until the swelling has gone down. This is another thing that I should have mentioned, uh, uh, that uh, when to do the surgery. But I was trying to rush as much as I can and take control of the viva and put as much as information and show to the examiner that I know uh, my key points. Um, uh, but I think those are the things I missed. Uh, I, I think I think you've done really well. There's a lot to talk about in five, only five minutes. Lots of um, controversies. You could be asked very different questions about the timing of the surgery. Maybe the whole uh, viva will be just about uh, consenting and the rates of needing second procedure and the rates of arthritis. Or maybe he'd be more concerned about um, the technicalities of fixing such fractures and the orientation of the uh, screws. So in five minutes, I think he managed to cover pretty much nearly every um, thing. So uh, uh, I think you, you did really well. The only thing is maybe, as you said, a lateral radiograph, and maybe some people would obtain a weight-bearing radiograph, uh, especially in the subtle um, list frank um, injuries to see if the, uh, if the list frank space opens up. But uh, I, I think you've done really well. Okay. Uh, so this is um, a paper. Um, it's, there's a lot of evidence in the in the uh, list frank as we get uh, said, but this is a, a relatively important paper. It's a review of literature of um, different um, studies. Uh, I think it included around six studies to look into the arthrodesis versus the open induction internal fixation of the list frank fractures, with no much significant difference between both groups. Uh, as a matter of fact, the uh, the uh, the ones that have been fixed needed a secondary procedure and slightly um, a slightly higher rate for the hardware um, removal or uh, maybe fusion at a later stage. So it might be worth familiarizing yourself with uh, with this study or a similar type of study. Uh, thank you. Uh, anything you want to add, Bigad? Um, I think one thing to mention as well is that uh, although I didn't mention the classification or try to to waste time on that. I think that's a good thing because uh, none of the classification systems have shown to have any implications on the decision uh, on, on how to treat or the prognosis of the patient. So um, uh, we still don't have a classification system that's very useful. And none of us in the real life clinical scenarios uh, really classify those injuries. Yes.